<clears throat> a wonderful hello. I'm Luc de Wolf at the time of presenting a student in the Green Nanomaterials Research Group at the University of Sheffield. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of central composite designs with Minitab. This video follows on from the previous one on two-level factorial designs, so feel free to go back to see the entire story. Central composite designs are part of the Design of Experiments framework. DOE is a statistical toolbox that offers systematic designs and efficient data analysis methods to solve multivariate problems in an empirical and statistically sound way. The general strategy consists of first constructing an experimental design, secondly to perform the experiment accordingly, and uh, thirdly to statistically analyze the experimental observations. What are central composite designs? CCDs are part of the response surface methodology, called this way because the resulting models are especially suitable for robust mapping of the response. The increased precision in forecasting is a result of the higher order polynomials, and therefore CCDs uh, are used for optimization purposes. In the previous video, we saw the two-level factorial design for screening purposes, which can create at most a first order model, to relate uh, the input factors x to the response y. The advantage is that they only require a small amount of treatments. Central composite designs um, have enough treatments to, com to construct second-order polynomials, but therefore they are also more elaborate. The most efficient approach would be to first construct a factorial design to test if um, a first-order model is sufficient and if curvature is present, or if optimization is required, then a central composite design could be run to obtain a second order model. CCDs can either be ordinary central composite designs or face-centered central composite designs. Let's take the experiment from last time as an example. Just to recap, it was a chemical reaction with the factors pH of the reaction, then the ratio of two of the reactants silicon and nitrogen, and uh, from last time we found out that the silicon concentration factor was the least significant. This time um, we wish to obtain a more precise secondary model, second order model, instead of just a first order model for our response the product VT surface area, and uh, we also wish to extend the design space to cover a larger experimental range. And we will try to do this using a central composite design. Now we will turn to Minitab. As always, on the top there is the toolbar, on the left is the navigator, at the bottom is the data pane with its worksheets, and centrally is the output pane. To create a central composite design, we go to Stat DOE, Response Surface, and Create Response Surface Design. We check that we have the central composite design and we select two continuous factors and zero categorical factors. Continuous factors are factors that, are, that have quantitative numerical levels, such as the pH if it is varied continuously. Categorical factors, on the other hand, are factors that have qualitative or text levels, such as different types of reagents. When only continuous factors are present, a single design is created. But when categorical factors are present, then a new design is created for every level of um, the categorical factor. For example, if we wanted to test the reaction in water and ethanol, then the design would be separated out into two designs because mathematically we cannot treat categorical factors as if they were continuous factors. We don't face this scenario here, therefore we move on to choose the design, and we wish to do it in just one block. To evaluate, uh, no sorry, the value of alpha is uh, not the level of significance, but the distance between the center point and the outermost points and it will depend on the number of factors used. By default, this design does not contain a center point, but we choose to include one to get a better predictability of the model at the center of the design. So number of center points within the cube, one. In the next step, it is possible to choose whether we wish 
the ordinary face centered so the ordinary central composite design or the face centered composite central composite design we stick with the ordinary one um, and we also choose to do two replicates of the entire design click OK then type your factors factor A was pH um, and factor B was the silicon to nitrogen ratio the levels of the factors are going to be the cube points which was pH 6 and pH 8 from the screening experiment in the previous video and silicon to nitrogen ratio 0 0.5 and 2 under options we choose not to obtain a randomized design although in practice it's good to randomize the experiments um, to avoid bias okay as we can see um, we'll click OK as we can see we have nine treatments but uh, because they are duplicated we have 18 experiments in total which are also shown here in our worksheet after designing the experiments the next step is to perform um, the experiments and to collect the observations and then lastly to analyze the observations and to construct a mathematical model that explains our chemical system we enter the collected values for the BT surface area and um, then we go to start DUE response surface analyze response surface design we select the BT surface area as our response and now under terms we can see that the CCD is able to handle second order models because A and B have squared terms under options the analyst is required to enter a level of confidence the most common ones are 90 95 and 99 the level of significance alpha which is 100 minus the confidence level is the probabil probability of committing a type 1 error which is erroneously identifying a non-significant model term to be significant because we want this chance to be just 10 percent we type 90 Under graphs, we select our preference for visualization. And under results, we select the analysis of variance and the regression equation. OK. We can now inspect the statistical output in the output pane. Um, the second order polynomial can contain a lot of terms, as we saw earlier. But for product development purposes, we don't always want the most complex model. We are looking for a model that captures significant changes in the result, uh, but not the experimental random noise. The ANOVA, the analysis of variance, tells us that only factors with p-values less than our confidence level of 0.1 are statistically significant which we can see from the half-normal plot to be factors A, B, AB, A squared, but B squared is not an important term. Had it been included without statistical test, then our model would have overfitted the response. It would have been too complex. Most importantly, we can get a mathematical model, the regression equation, that empirically shows the trend in response in our chemical system. As always, we can obtain surface plots and also contour plots. We're going to DRE, response surface, surface plot, and also contour plots.
If further reading is wished, these are good resources. And to conclude, we had a look at how to design and analyze central composite designs in Minitab for optimization purposes. Feel free to email me for further clarifications. Thank you very much.